Yeah, Kelly, a couple of court-related issues to bring you up to speed on. One is uh, this lawsuit in Michigan now. The Trump campaign is losing a lawsuit to seek to halt vote counting in Michigan. That's according to an oral order from a state court judge there. So the Trump campaign was hoping to stop the vote counting in the state of Michigan. Uh, that's not going to happen, according to that state court judge. We'll see if there's an appeal there. But you see Michigan with 16 electoral votes. The projected winner by NBC News is 50.6%. Uh, Joe Biden, 47.8%. Donald Trump there. So that comes on the heels of a Georgia lawsuit that was dismissed earlier in the day. A state court judge in Georgia dismissed the lawsuit that was filed Wednesday by the Trump campaign uh, and the Georgia Republican Party. What they were claiming in that lawsuit, Kelly, was that the late arriving mail ballots were being mixed in with ballots that arrived over time. The lawsuit included a claim from an observer who, who thought they saw something there. Uh, what happened in Georgia was the judge says there's no evidence that the ballots seen by the observer were in Proper. So uh, the Trump campaign losing a court battle in Michigan, losing another court battle in Georgia. And as that happens, we do have a little bit of additional vote in the state of Georgia. If we can call up uh, the state there, you see now a 13,000 vote difference between the two men. And Donald Trump's lead is narrowing in the state of Georgia. 49.5 percent for Trump, 49.2 percent for Joe Biden. Um, and we're going to watch this one carefully. Georgia has only 16 electoral college votes, so it's not enough to make the difference here. Because remember, Biden needs 17 to get to 270. So Georgia on its own doesn't get Biden over the top. But it would be a remarkable political upset because Georgia has been a red state for so very long. Uh, the fact that Biden is, is making uh, a late run at Georgia is fascinating in terms of its political dynamics. And mixed with one uh, other state, that could be enough to put Biden over the top here. So we're going to watch that one very, very carefully, as is the rest of the country, Kelly. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.